Hi, I'm Captain Ricky Wheeler, and today I'm going to show you how to rig a 50 pitch for blue marlin. A lot of days when you're fishing for sailfish or white marlin in certain locations around the world, or even striped marlin, there are on occasions that a blue marlin will crash and teaser, and you're going to want something a little bigger to pitch to it. Say a 400 pounder comes in, you're not going to want to throw it your 30, but you can, you catch it, but a lot of days we just like to have a 50 pitch out. We don't go all the way to 80 because we're just having fun and playing release. So this is how I rig mine. I start off with a big ballyhoo, usually a horse or a select, prepped and ready to go. And I use the Fishtown Sea Big Chugger to give it plenty of commotion. And I'll show you how to rig it right now. So to start, we take our pre-cut floss, usually like three to four feet, fed it through the eye of the needle. And we're gonna go right up and through this hinge here on the ballyhoo. So we go right up to the bottom and up through the hinge. Pull it out, and you want to leave a little bit of a tag in because you're going to need this in the end. So here, do a double knot, double overhand. So there's one, two, and I'll lock it in. And you take the long piece here, and you're going to move this knot around to the bottom of the ballet hoop, like so. And now you take this tag in, this long tag in, and you're going to thread through your egg sinker. This is a 3 8 ounce. You can use half ounce, three quarter, whatever you feel like. I plan to be fishing some calm weather, so it doesn't need that much to stay down. Tuck that up and in like you normally would. And then you're going to collar. So by that, I mean you're gonna take this floss and you're gonna roll it around the gills, just like you would if you're rigging up with copper wire for your O-ring rigs or your ringer swivels, whatever you use. And then you have this right here. And then once you get to this point, now you're gonna take this right back through the eye of your needle, like so. Go back through the eyes one time. And then come back to here. Here you wanna go right through the gills if you can. It's a nice solid spot for the floss to hold on to. And the reason we're stitching our 50 pitch is if a blue marlin comes up and T-bones it, grabs the back of the bait, this is going to help hold the body of your bait to the head of your bait. So if it grabs it and drops you, it won't rip you off. Or if it grabs it really hard and T-bones you and tries to rip it off, it can't. And it'll come, you'll get a second shot. You'll still have a whole bait and it's going to come back and you're going to get a second chance at the fish. And hopefully that time you're going to get the hook. But anyway, so then you go back right behind the pecs, which I cut off. And I'll go back one more stitch in the body. That should be sufficient to hold it in place. And you just run right back up through the same holes that you made. Back through the gills here. And then back through the eyeballs. And then here you're going to go right back up and through like when you started. So straight up through here and back out that same hole. And now you have two nice tag ends here. So what you're going to do with these tag ends, you're going to cross those, thread those right through the needle of your the eye of your needle, excuse me. There's one, two, make sure they're even. And then now you just simple as taking this right through your chugger head, like so. Pull it through, take this right out. And now you're gonna just pull that right down and on. Roll it right into place. And now you have your 50 pitch chugger ready to go. So to attach it to the hook, what you're gonna do, you can leave a whole bunch of these in your box, pre-right, ready to go. I'll just do, take this, do an overhand knot. And it's definitely better, like I made these a little short, these tag ends. If you use a little bit more floss, it'll make your life 10 times easier. And take whatever hook you wanna use for your 50 pitch. This right here is an Eagle Claw 12-0. Just put it, all you gotta do is put it right in there and you can do this real quick and on the go. Pull that down real tight and I'll come back around the back. One overhand and then back out the front here, you can just double knot it or do a finishing knot, however you wanna do it. So one, two for my double knot, it locks it in. Cut it off and you're good to go. As you can see, the hook is free to move and plenty and get caught right in the corner of that marlin's jaw. And that there is your 50 pitch.
Just put it on your 50 wide, and when that blue marble comes to the spread, pitch it in, let the captain tease it, and get your bait switch. Game on. No better feel. For more how-to videos, make sure you subscribe to me on this YouTube channel, where you can also follow me on my captain's vlog, where I travel around and target fish all over the Caribbean and the eastern coast. And you can also get more detailed online fishing webinars and seminars at saltwatereuphoria.com on our special courses there. So make sure you check that out. I hope to see you in the next captain's vlog or the next how-to video.